Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here. Welcome to episode number 17 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as Carthage campaign. Uh, I want to first and foremost here uh, really thank all of you who are big fans of this channel or this uh, specific Let's Play series as, uh, you know, as, as Carthage um, for sticking with me. And for, for being here watching this video, you know, if this is the first video you've seen and it popped up on your YouTube homepage, you're recommended, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is this is part 17 of this Let's Play, so, you know, part get, go back to part one and, and start there if you want, or watch this, whatever floats your boat. Um, but I think for the majority of you that uh, probably have watched other parts of this campaign and are watching this now, uh, I want to apologize for the break over the holidays. Uh, if you saw my post in the community tab, you have probably a little bit of an idea of what's happening. And, and uh, no, I mean, I don't want to get into the personal stuff, to be honest. But, um, it, you know, it wasn't all personal stuff. I mean, per the personal side of it probably kept me from making videos until about the first or second week of January. And then for about two weeks there, it, it just... Uh, Took me a minute to get back into it. I let it fall through the cracks. Uh, I apologize. I'm, I'm very sorry, but thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, I intend to keep and stick with the normal schedule moving forward. Uh, for the next, like, almost two weeks, I'm going to be releasing a video every day to try to, you know, at least make up for the time I missed somewhat. Uh, that is uh, the schedule for that's in the community tab on my channel if you want to take a look. And... Um, so these videos will not be coming out on like a consistent day of the week because of that. But once that stretch is done, uh, two weekends from now, um, then this video, this uh, sorry, this Let's Play series as Carthage will be coming out at its normal Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, time slot, uh, every single week. And that's how it's going to be going forward, and that's, that's the intention. So uh, let's get into it without further ado, because it's been a while. And I'm thinking the best way to jump back in... Uh, is to go into our list scroll, and let's just catch up on where all of our forces are. Uh, so, alright, yeah, we have our Kaidonia force. We have our force in Aretium, led by, led by Hasdrubal, took the city. There are some uh, Roman Julii assassins around, um, but we should have a good defense force. We really knocked back the Julii pretty, uh, pretty well. Alright, we have this navy... I'm going to just kind of move them as there are times to do so. There's a Britain Navy right here. We're on the North African coast, so I would love to knock this Britain Navy out of here. I think my Navy should be powerful enough to take it out. Clear victory. There we go. And uh, for some reason, they, they retreated north. I was trying to just try to get these navies out of here so that I can just position a Navy right here at the gate, uh, you know, Gibraltar, like gateway to the Mediterranean, and block any potential Britain navies coming in. Um, from the north where their provinces are. Uh, so we'll get, we'll do that eventually, but we're going to have to take out these fleets first. So why don't we move up this fleet? I, I don't, oh, it's definitely, yeah, that's powerful enough to take another hit. There we go. Clear victory. They retreated to the north up here somewhere. Uh, there's another weak navy here. Ooh, weak navy with a family member on it. That's a, that's a prime target. So we're just going to, we're going to go hit that immediately. Can we get the sink? No, they ran as well. They ran as well, unfortunately. Can we catch... Oh, but we can catch them. Let's try to take out this family member. There we go! Alright, we got the sink, which means we took out the family member also. That is huge. Um, yeah, and then there's the other navy. We were, so they really just have two ships left in the Mediterranean, I think. Unless there's any in this area over here, but I don't think there is. I think that's just Julii navies. So two ships left in the Mediterranean by the Britons, and then we can position a navy here at Gibraltar and uh, stop any further um, Britain excursions into the Mediterranean, um, which would be ideal. So this fleet here will keep in the north to monitor this ship. Uh, why don't we have you guys get ready to move that way? Yeah, okay, those three navies are doing their thing back to the list scroll. So that was very successful start right there. Pretty happy with that. Um, Alright, Hjemsal, the honest. Nice, powerful general, good command stars, confident attacker. Uh, he is leading our siege of Ruminum. We will definitely come back to that. Uh, Abdasir, Paetus, you're over here by Narva Martius. Yes, we beat back some large Britain armies. Finally secured the Iberian Peninsula. There are no Britain armies here anymore. Um, Alright, Diegis Giannis, you are managing Rome, which, you know, he's going to need a little bit of work. 
Uh, Theatocles, the Wrathful, you are here also by Narbo Martius. Yes, we have a couple generals in this area. That admiral we just worked. Yes, okay. Bomokar is at Narbo Martius as well. Okay, so here we have a new navy. Uh, one ship. Looks like it's, yeah, it's retreating back to Kaidonia. Yes, um, where I imagine we will, yeah, we'll retrain it and let's recruit in another vessel. Uh, that's good. I great um, to have as a fairy fleet there. I great Admiral Jubal. Very powerful fleet uh, here in the Adriatic. Um, there is also a very powerful Julii fleet with some troops up here in the north. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be some probably big navy fights over there. We'll come back to that. That fleet I moved. Ah, uh, yes, here, led by oh my, Esh Munazar. Uh, is my African, North African uh, expeditionary force. Expeditionary force. Um, they are marching along the coast, laying, laying down watchtowers on the way with the intention of taking this settlement here, this Numidian town. Um, as was recommended to me in past videos, uh, which I agree with, I will be uh, leaving Siwa, the Numidian capital, in the hands of Numidia uh, as a sort of buffer territory between me and Egypt, because I don't want to be fighting a war over here right now with all everything that's going on in the West. So, but I do want to take this territory so that it kind of connects with Kaidonia and hopefully a, a future expansion relatively not, you know, in the not too distant future into Greece. Um, so we'll continue this march. Forward. March down the coast. March. And uh, the there's a rebel force. Why don't we position a watchtower here? And yeah, we're going to lay, you know, consistent watchtowers along the coastline as we go. All right, back to the list scroll. So we just did our Fire. in Tripolitania, modern day Tripoli, I guess. Um, all right, there's our Carthage force uh, led by a relatively young general. Uh, they can stay, yeah, Carthage. It's just they can stay there. Small fleet, 32 ships. I great lord. Larger fleet, 120 ships and two Cre. Okay, this is my Cretan archer transport fleet that finally made it to the Adriatic. We'll come back to that Fire. that region. All right, Hannibal Malago, our other general by Narbo Martius. Um. All right, we do have a general in Oscar currently, and then a bunch of navies. And I do want to point out, by the way, Doug Adams, seven days ago, uh, I appreciate your comment on my previous, uh, or actually eight days ago at the time that this video will be released. Thank you very much for your comment on my previous video, episode 16. Um, I do agree with you. I probably won't need all these navies in the long term. And undoubtedly, uh, with consistent fighting on the seas, I'll lose some of the ships, and that's okay. But I was just, I was getting beat back by the navies, and, and they were such a pain so much. I just, I had to address it. Um, it. You know, we had to get to a point here where, you know, we can turn the, <laughs> uh, just turn the tides. Um, and uh, that's why I trained up all these navies here. And, you know, maybe we'll disband some in the future once we're a little bit more stable. But you are right. The Julii are almost done. Britons won't be able to reach me soon. Uh, we'll definitely want some navies for Greece. Uh, there just aren't enough naval powers left. Yes, I agree with that. But uh, Greece and Egypt will definitely have somewhat navies. E Egypt less so. Um, and as I said before, once I once I clear out the Mediterranean and I can basically put a block here or maybe a blockade up here uh, and just prevents the Britons from sending navies into the Mediterranean, then I will uh, be in a much better spot there. But for the time being... I great we do have a bunch of navies, so yeah, we have kind of just I small navies of trained up troops all over the place. Uh, Admiral Giscon here in uh, Carthage. I think this navy, yeah, see, we can merge a bunch of these navies here for sure. Um, you know, we're going to want to no pull these together to into, I yeah, larger, Lord. a larger yes, naval fighting Lord. force. Uh, yeah, to go to try to start knocking back some of those Julii navies. And god, I can't believe we're already 10 minutes into this video. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, we got an 80... Oh, we have another navy right here, actually, in sal uh, southern Spain. Um, I don't think we really need it over here. Why don't we put that as a temporary... Yes, a temporary dear. blocker. Uh, we got 40, yes, we got these ships navies that are kind of trapped by some sail. Julii navies, and then we have the 40 ships sail. in Capua. Um, Alright, so what we can do, I mean, we would, I would like to break out here. There's one ship there, two there. This is a pretty decent ships force. Uh, why don't we take you, and we'll attack you this, we'll have the reinforcements, and we should win that. 
and they will sink because the navy was surrounded. Yeah, and then we can uh, go ahead and... Oh, did I have men? Oh, I forgot, almost forgot. These guys are coming to Syracuse for retraining. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off recruiting some more right now. I, I also agree with you, Doug. Uh, I need to begin investment in less military facilities and buildings and and more economic uh, to boost up the economy. I do agree with that absolutely. Let's uh, let's continue the quick hitting naval fights here. Oh, we got another sink on the Julii. That is huge. Uh, why don't we? Uh, yeah, to do that. yeah, go ahead and link these guys up. And uh, we'll move them up into the Adriatic. Yeah, we'll do that. And then you guys can pop in the Masana. Alright. So, definitely the Cretan archers and their escort force. We're going to want to continue moving up north. I would like to get them to this army if possible that has no archers currently. Uh, so let's move the tram, the, uh, let's move the, yeah, the escort force first, and we'll move these guys, uh, these guys along with them, just making sure that they are, you know, within reinforcement, hey, reinforcement range of each other in case they're attacked. Oh, uh, we could take a look at what we got here, Sam Knights, alright, not terrible, um, yeah, Rome. Drop attacks tax rate a click. There we go. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, let's take a quick look at agents. So yeah, we got our spy in Ariminum. We got our diplomat over here in Narbo Martius area. Also one in Macedonia. One in Macedonia. Do I have any treaties with Thrace? Yeah, I, okay, I have trade rights with them. All right. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what to do necessary really with this. Let's go let's just kind of scout yes, out up there. I spy. Okay, yeah, we have a spy in Italy. We're gonna have to manage that region. Spy in Massilia, that's perfect. I want you to stay there. Spy in Siwa, perfect, stay there. Assassin in Rome. Two assassins in Rome, and an assassin in Aretium. Alright. Great. I'm really glad to see that I remembered to um train up assassins here because they, their assassins are shall die. I don't want to lose a family member because of an assassin. 64% chance 95% chance on this guy. Accept that mission boom. Mission successful there we go. Took out one of the Julii assassins. We've got a trait increase and a retinue increase and this agent. Yeah you can see look how many subterfuge points they have now uh, that is awesome alright. Uh, we also have the agents here both kind of bad. I mean, they're natural-born assassins, but, you know, they're just not uh, not outstanding overall. We got, yeah, 64% chance on any of those guys. Lower if we go after a captain. I guess let's go ahead and let's give a shot at the other assassin. We got him. Sweet. Alright, so the assassin threat, at least the two that I was able to see, um, has been taken care of, and now we have two better assassins ourselves. Let's get our spy up here. I just want to take a look. Oh my god. Okay, spy, um, not used to a spy not being able to, uh, just look at an army in the field. Okay, that's, uh, I should have checked this, uh, percentage stat beforehand. I didn't think it, uh, there was a chance he would die, to be honest. Um, let's just give this a shot, 29% take out a family member and all right we lost them um too bad uh that's that's fine um yeah whatever uh unfortunate I kill to we have better assassins now though uh we could also if we wanted to train up more but i'm gonna actually just train a peasants here for this turn in rome um because just for public order purposes i think that's a smart move and let's go ahead, and I think I think we should be able to... Yeah, the gates are open, we have four ladders, two towers, and a sap point. We're 15 minutes into the video. This seems like the perfect time to go after the army in the city. What do they got? I mean, they have two units of archers themselves. They have one, two, three, four, four units of velites. They're going to be able to defend the walls pretty nicely. 
But then once I take the walls, they really don't have too much else. Uh, my troops will be better. I'm just all... Yeah, we're gonna have to... Well, with the gates open, the wall, you know, the walls aren't even the absolute key to this. So, we should be able to take this. I say let's do the assault, and let's have a battle. Alright, what's strength ratio? Two to one. Fight battle on the map. Absolutely. I also promise you the war and company of appreciative carefulness. But before any of that, there's something All right, like big general speech. Right at the wall. So yeah, again, we don't need to assault the walls unnecessarily. Um, because the gates are open. But I also can't just charge in the gates because um, they'll have... You know, they should position... I mean, I would. Uh, they should have ranged units up on the walls, so I actually can't deploy on that side of the city. What about this long section of straight wall with a gate on the left side? This could be a nice point here. Uh, two towers, two... <laughs> well, Lord of the Rings. Two towers, two ladders. What about the tower? Let's get the towers next to the gatehouse. And let's get the ladders rushing up here on the sides. And what I'm going to try to do is... I'm going to try to get the walls and knock off their ranged units before moving the rest in. But um, I just, I'm just going to keep in mind that it's not, you know, uh, not a necessity to take the walls. Uh, yeah, we'll take these guys out of their uh, phalanx mode. A lot of cavalry, and we do have an onager as well. We'll go flaming ammo because we're going to want to do nice damage to the walls. Um, you know what? Can I? I can't fit two towers there, right? No, I, I can't. I forgot. I also have the sap point. Yeah, I did a lot here. We're going to move this tower, and we're actually going to drop this tower. Um, we'll have these guys back up one of the ladders. I want my onagers taking out this wall here, and then my skirmishers. Let's just scoot over here really quick. Skirmishers, you can man this. You can be the ones to man the sap point. All right, let's start battle and let's see how they position. So, did they do what I expected? Um, we got okay. We got some principes on the wall. There's the velites. There's the archers, velites, velites, velites. So they have uh, ranged units uh, surrounded and guarded by principes. That makes sense. Um, their gate entryway is actually not super well defended. Like I, I feel like I could actually take it pretty well with cavalry. But um, we're gonna use our advantage here with the siege engines. We'll go hit the sap point um, with the skirmishers tower. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to quickly move. Tower there, ladders there. Ladders there. Onagers. Hit the wall. Let's start. Alright. Here we go. It's good to be back, guys. It's good to be back. I, I miss this, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm not going to be able to see the flaming shot, because... Modern, you know... Modern game, uh, on an old, you know, or modern theater, old game. Um, but the damage will happen uh, regardless. So yeah, we're going to get this tower marked. This tower is going to be in a slog fest. This unit might just get absolutely destroyed. We'll see. But yeah, they're rotating around in here. These, See, I want these guys... Um, we're going to make sure we capture most of the towers up here on the wall. Uh, for when I move my uh, cavalry in. Why don't we get our phalanx pikemen? Yeah, why don't we just start marching? How are we doing now? 12% damage? Alright. Ladders have reached the wall. How is our sap point doing over here? Uh, they're making progress. Alright. Let's go to the ladders. Alright, ladders have made it. We're gonna get now this unit to hurry up and run. And now get up here. There we go. Alright. And, uh, why are you. Yeah, can we enter there, please? Thank you very much. 
Um, I didn't really... We're starting to take some damage here. You know what? Why don't we... Pull back. That was kind of dumb to have the march forward. I thought we could kind of get them to move into the city. But actually, we're going to fight for the walls first before we do that. Uh, so let's just have them back up. Yeah, we're going to have enough Libyans and, and, and stuff here up on the walls that uh, we're just not in a huge rush to uh, move the phalanxes forward. These guys are about to pop out here and start taking out those ranged units, which will uh, help protect the phalanxes when they move. All right, you guys. Yeah, we're going to want to have units eventually turning up here. So why don't we... Make sure we at least go capture this tower here. Take these two so that those are on our side. And the rest of these forces, we're going to let them all reach up the top of the wall before we turn and face the Principes. Although it looks like they're actually, yeah, they're coming towards us. Um, Send your troops and take the rest of that's the fine. Settlement. Let's go catch, let's go get them. Libyans versus Principes up on the walls. Here we go. How the Onager's doing, 38% damage. These guys should be about to pop out. Spearmen almost capturing that next tower. Once they do capture it, I will turn them back to the fight. Yeah, we just captured it. There we go. All right. Turn back, please. And go join the fight against those Principes. Yeah, we're getting hit from some, some ranged fire over here. We could definitely probably just charge in our cav. I just want to. I wanted these guys to be occupied first um, by this Libyan unit up here before we engage with our uh, with our cavalry. Yeah, this is going to be a slog up there for a little while. You know, because once they're engaged and they're fighting melee, then the cavalry will have a free run inside without any uh, ranged fire taking them out. But. For some reason, this just refuses to open up. I mean, let's just let's get it going already. Come on. I know I know it takes a minute, but this is taking a bit long. Uh, all right, our sap point was uh, was almost successful. It's reached the wall. And any second now, this unit that there we sort of go. The they're entering, but the bridge hasn't dropped. I'm not. I have no idea why the bridge there. Okay, finally there we go. The bridge dropped. I mean, geez, come on. Alright, take out the archers. Oh, they immediately routed. Alright, you know what? Cavalry, let's get in there. Yeah, we're gonna just charge through into the city. We should be able to fight, fight back that unit of Principes with our cav. You guys. Let's get, the, let's get my strong infantry up front as well. I'm a little worried. Does this wall have boiling oil? No, I think it's only uh, the first level stone wall, so I don't think it has boiling oil. But yeah, we should be able to take out Principes with our stronger cavalry here. Uh, we're starting to get some units routing. Uh, which is not good. Yeah, the Principes definitely have the wall advantage on us, no doubt about that. But yeah, cavalry, we have the advantage down here. Let's go take out that unit of Roman archers. Yeah, this unit here is just slaughtered. Cavalry, we're going to get you down to the area of the city where we have control of the walls. Why don't we leave... Yeah. This is... It's just going to be a struggle to get the walls here. That's that's the main problem. Cavalry's in the city, though. And is doing well. These, these guys... I mean, we're going to need to fight these units off the walls at some point here, so why don't we move up with our better infantry and see if we can't, uh, can't do that. Yeah, Cav, can we, if we could just go run these guys down, that would be great, because we own these towers down here. It's nice and safe. I'm not sure why they're having so much difficulty moving all that way. These guys don't want to enter the city. Alright. Gotta love pathfinding, guys. Gotta love pathfinding. Alright. Come on, Cav. Let's run down those archers, please. 
Uh, this tower should be on our side. Yeah, this is the problem with not having the gatehouse under our control. I don't know why these guys just like refuse to go kill the Julii troops here. Um, Alright, Cavalry, why don't you take a break for a sec. Let's get two units of Cavalry back down here to go deal with these fools. I mean, for some reason, the my, my Sacred Band just has no interest in, um, in, in actually fighting them. Uh, <laughs> I don't really get it. So we'll use our Cavalry to do that. It's fine. Sacred bands. Just move down this way. Oh, all right, there we go. At least those principes finally retreated. Cavalry, go over here. You guys, we're gonna go hit those guys from behind. Try to surround them up on the walls. Yeah, see, these, these guys are causing all sorts of problems up here. Such a pain. Oh my god. Yeah, the, the infantry that the uh, Carthaginians have is just no match. These guys could please just go up the wall and start fighting. That. Hey, he, he's so nice. I don't know if we're going to break this unit. I thought maybe they'd break from the charge, but... Oh, I might lose this, guys. I'm rusty. Yeah, the not having control of the towers is, is killing me. No. They're, they're done? Right. Yeah, not having control of the towers is just absolutely killing my uh, ability to maneuver and, and use cavalry here in the city. Or really use any troops in the city. I mean, it's just devastating what the towers do. Alright, I think some of these guys should come back. Let's see if we can't get them back. We got 17 back over here. Uh, go join up with the general. Peltis, I mean, I don't really know what, what I'm going to use you for. Alright, these guys came back too. Why don't you go join up with the general? Alright. And yeah, we're making some progress up here with our, uh, with our sacred bands. Oof. Yeah, the, uh, the men up on the walls, the Romans, they're really hard to beat. Um, my strategy of distracting the ranged guys and moving in the rest of the units didn't work when these guys just routed immediately. Um, nope. Okay, we got Acutase over here. We have the towers on our side over here, though. As you can see, these towers should be firing at the Romans. It's not, because why would it? But it should be, because it's ours. Um, I'll take some free Equite kills, though. That's that's fine with me. We'll go ahead and uh, position back up here. Yeah, we took out a good amount of that unit. Good chunk of it. They got the War Dogs in the city center, which is why I'm not just charging in with my Cav. Um, but yeah, okay, we got the units up here on the walls to route, so good to know for the future. Even though the Sacred Band are a Hoplite unit, not sure what's going on there. Uh, even though they're a Hoplite unit, they are... Uh, good on the walls. I thought maybe my Libyan Spearmen would be able to do enough damage on their own, but they were not. Uh, yeah, they were just simply were not. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to fast forward here for a second. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and let the 
uh, remainder. Oh, not sure why my guys stopped fighting. We're gonna let the remainder of these guys up on the wall get killed. Um, looks like we got someone coming towards us here. It's an Equites unit. All right, let's see if we can't uh, draw them this direction so they have to deal with the uh, towers at all. Yeah, get them to turn the corner here. Yeah, see the towers are firing at them. They've already gotten a few kills. And make them run along the towers that we control. Use their towers against them. And then, yeah, now we'll turn in and we'll go hit them. Yeah, you see, towers have taken out at least six or seven now. And now we can go in and, yeah, we got the route. There we go. Good job, Kev. Yeah, they're down. To, they were at 34, I think, before. Now they're down to 21 uh, heading back. So, very successful there. That was your bait strategy worked. Down to 18 now. Um, all right, how do the Romans position the rest of the way? I mean, they do have some weaker infantry units. There's a Hestati. Bit of a pain to get into the city center. You would have thought for a city center this big, there'd be an entrance from this side. But uh, alas, there's not. Um, we've almost wiped out the remainder of these guys on the walls. Very close to. Uh, if you guys all want to just chill up here, that's fine. I'm not going to go fight them uh, and, and put my units in the harm's way with walls that are... Uh, are not the ones that I control. So once this is done here, and the rest of these guys are wiped out, which should happen any second now, uh, we'll move these men down and we'll start advancing into the city center with our infantry. So fast forward until this happens. Any second now, there's only four left, three left, two left, one left. There we go. All right, well done. You guys, it's all merged up down there. And, um... No, I never actually took out the wall. I didn't realize that. Let's rush in our general and the rest of our cavalry as well. Uh, we're going to want them for the rest of this fight. Especially with the units, you know, they're going to fight better with the general there. So, uh, we're going to want to get them in the city. Uh, we're going to be careful with them, but we're going to want to get them in the city. We just need to get past this gauntlet of ranged units. Looks like they're not firing. They must be out of ammo. Uh, so that's good, yeah. We're going to rush them into the city this direction. And uh, down to where we're safe, where we control the towers. And yeah, we got a little bit of range damage, but uh, nothing too major. Ooh, I saw that. I saw that drop in and I got, I got worried there for a second. I thought maybe we lost our general from some ranged attack. Um, all right, they are moving their velites down to the grounds. That's fine. Those are units that uh, we'll be able to easily take out. Let's just let the rest of our units shuffle into position here. They're getting off the walls. They're the units moving. Yeah, it's just going to take them a minute to, uh, to all get into position. And then we'll begin the advance. Look at that stream of men coming off the wall. Anyone coming up behind us? Yeah, they're doing the same thing behind us. Uh, let's get you guys running. Cavalry. These are just Velites. Let's go take them out. Anything coming this way? War dogs. Alright. General backup. Sacred Band. Let's form up. Get general behind you. So the war dogs don't, uh, I would like the war dogs not to hit my general and the cavalry, but instead run into some spears. These guys, yeah, unsurprisingly just demolish the ranged units there that the Romans sent our way. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and be a little bit protected here from the war dogs. And uh, they're not all in position yet, but yeah, we're gonna activate the spears. Let's get the uh, the phalanx. Let's get. The, hopefully, we can take out these war dogs pretty good here. Yeah, as they as they come through. Um, we didn't quite get all of them. General, please back up. Stop fighting them and back up when I tell you to back up. The issue with war dogs, uh, which is really annoying, 
is the men, when you tell them to attack war dogs, they go after the, the holders, the trainers. They don't go after the dogs themselves. So they can be really difficult to chase down. Um, but when you kill the trainer, the dogs die. So, uh, you know, I understand why that's how it works. It just, uh, you know, it, it's just, so it can be a little frustrating sometimes. So we'll keep the these guys moving forward now that that threat has passed and we'll go to triple speed as they do so. Because I, I don't want to run my guys because a lot of these guys are kind of tired, they're winded. Uh, most of my guys are sort of fresh at this point, but we'll, we'll just get them moving walking here while we can speed it up. Alright. Right, yeah, you guys can run now. Alright. Yeah, we're going to have to go all the way around. This is another War Dogs coming our way. Alright. we got another War Dogs coming our way. So what I'm going to do, let's get a full Phalanx here. And we're going to put the spears down and let those dogs just run right into us. If they can get there in time, I mean, I'm not asking them to move too far forward. Come on now. Alright, dog's there. The dogs just turned the corner. Alright, phalanx get in position, form up. Alright, tree bump, buildings bumped our camera around. All right, let's uh, let's see if yeah they're gonna do their little weird shift thing that they do sometimes. Okay, no, not really. Spears down. There we go. All right, dogs are not gonna stand a chance here. Uh, just running right into the face of a phalanx, so not too worried about that. Yeah, you'll see. This should be uh, just an onslaught. Yeah. Take it out. Some of them got around the side. Sorry, puppies. Yeah, most of them, uh, most of them taken out here. There we go. All right, threat averted. Little annoying war dogs, and uh, we'll pick back up spears here, and let's get this area here. This see, this is the, this is this map. I have to run through this whole gauntlet of towers, two towers, and then loop around this way. It's Jeez, it's annoying. Uh, what do we got up here? Looks like, uh, it could be a town watch. Oh, I it. Alright. We're gonna get all these guys forward. I should, with cavalry, I should be able to route them pretty quickly. And I just want to run my troops past these towers as fast as possible. So we're gonna just get the... Now that the war dogs aren't a threat anymore, we're gonna get the cavalry forward to try to punch through here. Is this more war dogs? Okay, there are more war dogs. It's good to know. Units. Units. Oh, oh, oh. All right. You guys... We're gonna form up another phalanx here. Yeah, they're gonna get some Pila throws in on us. That's all right because they're not going to be able to get through our spears. There we go. Our spears are formed. There was actually a Reddit post the other day. Like, how the heck do you beat a phalanx? Uh, you don't do what the Romans are doing right here. I'll tell you that. You don't just run straight into the spears. That's uh, not the worst thing you could do in this case. Although, they kind of froze. Are they going to throw more spears? Yeah, they're going to throw some point-blank spears here. That's okay. We'll take the damage. We'll take the damage because we're going to be able to take out this whole unit regardless once they charge. There we go. So, worthwhile because now they're just going to melt. And uh, we do have war dogs following up, which is perfect because we can take out the rest of the dogs here and then I can use my cavalry pretty freely. I think that's it on the war dogs front for them. Yeah, that's that's it on the uh, war dogs front. Uh, there's a trainers here, but the dogs are dead, so... Um, See, ever since they started rushing us, we haven't lost a single guy. Nope, I'm trying to see how close I could get to zooming in without hitting the building. There we go. The war dogs are gonna come in here now. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna play defensive while while this is happening. Alright, so we can go to fast forward here. We're just gonna watch just the, the numbers of the enemy here just melt. 
behind the might of the phalanx. Sorry to all you dog lovers out there. I'm a big dog lover. My family always had dogs. I got nothing against dogs, but in this game, you, you gotta take them out. You just don't have a choice. Uh, once those are done, let's start now. We'll dance on the unit. Start pushing forward. Get a little more aggressive. What are we ever? This is the trainers for those war dogs. Yeah, then Equite is back there. Alright. Why don't you guys pick up your spears? Let's begin the run past these towers. Same with you guys. Let's go. General, you're gonna hang hang back. Actually, I think it's gonna be safer for the general to run through this gauntlet with everybody at the same time so that the arrows can't just focus in on the general's unit. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how we're gonna do it. Um, because otherwise the arrows could just, if I run that general late, the arrows will just focus in on his unit. So we're gonna want to get all the troops over to here so they get past these towers and get to safety. They will definitely take some damage from the arrows on the way. Um, yeah, you can hear the arrows firing there, but none of these guys should put up much of a threat. We just need to get through the, the gauntlet of the towers. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody run. Full speed. Can we just take out that last Astati? I mean, come on. There we go. No, oh, no, not there we go. Right, everybody go around to the Prince of Pays, please. Get around the corner. These little couple men cannot should not be blocking an entire unit of cavalry. Come on. Let's go. I mean, my, these guys have made it almost as quick as the cavalry did, because there was, what, like five war dog trainers sitting there? Stupid. Alright, come on. Take out these take out these principes already. We got a little bit of a peel to throw off there, did some damage, but we're gonna take out the whole unit here in a second when they route. So there we go. Alright, my general did make it through safely. Good news, and there we go. The whole unit's taken out. Alright, we got some Equites coming. Why don't we get aggressive with them? Yeah, you guys get there as quick as possible. Yeah, we have a huge cavalry advantage here in the center of the city. Uh, this is where, with open space to maneuver, we should be able to really see the, uh, our cavalry put in good work and, and, you know, really take them out. We're gonna wait for the infantry to catch up, though. Uh, some of the infantry is kind of on the tired or exhausted side. Oh, shh. There were more war dogs? Alright, back up, back up. I did not realize that there were more war dogs. Where did they come from? And, yeah, don't retreat when I tell you to retreat, huh? That's smart. Just stand there and let the war dogs kill you. We'll let our infantry take them out. Alright, yeah, these guys, uh, apparently they didn't want to retreat. They're just going to sit there and, and keep dying to the war dogs. That's, uh, that's smart. Not, not doing what I'm telling you to do is always a good call in this game. Usually works out really nicely. You just, you just end up like these guys over here who are going to die from a bunch of dogs. No, get back. Stop running this direction. I'm not telling you to go this direction. Get back. Oh my god. This is the kind of stuff that just uh, love this game, but frustrates me. Jeez. Alright. Took out the dogs. I thought those there were no more. Apparently that was not the case. Take out the rest of them, please. Come on. Here we go, Phalanx. See if we can't get a Phalanx formation on some of this cab here. Yeah, they just kind of ran into it a little bit, huh? Alright. Alright. Get into position now. 
Jeez, so annoying. Yeah, I probably lost like 15, 20 cavalry because they just refused to retreat when I told them to. Alright, there we go. Why don't we get our largest unit formed up as a phalanx? Well, the rest, yeah, the rest are just gonna. We're gonna rest up here for a sec. Yeah, exhausted, warmed up. I don't know why some are warmed up, some are exhausted, but. Um, anyway, is there a unit that's coming up behind us here? I see it on the mini map. No, yeah, there is. It's a Prince of Pays unit. I guess they want to die. Let's go take them out. That's a job for the cavalry. Thought they could sneak up on me, but I caught them down here on the map. Yeah, this should be a pretty easy uh, unit to take out with all this cav. There we go. And now it's just uh, mopping them up. Back to these guys, yeah, they're just gonna kind of keep doing that. So let's push these guys up. We'll have the rest kind of just bunch up behind them. Some are still exhausted, but some are fresh. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of start moving. Oh, they're gonna run right in. Yeah, we got a couple there. We got four. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just set up a defensive wall. Oh, they got archers, huh? Yeah, they got some archers. They're gonna take shots in. Cavalry, running into a phalanx, always a smart move. Alright, what do we got here? Principes, a couple Principes and archers. Yeah, this should be pretty easy to take out. Um, but as long as they're just gonna kind of keep doing this little chargey thing into me and dying, I mean, I'll, I'll do it. Why don't we pick up the spears? Let's move. Let's get going. Infantry advancing to the city, please. Boy, these Roman archers are about to face these guys down. Give me a break. That is funny. I respect it. It's brave, but suicidal. Ooh, but brave. Here comes the cab. They're not gonna route because they're in the city center. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's let these guys all start forming up. There's the war dog trainers charging in. Yeah, these guys mostly drop. I mean, they're going to do this. It's going to be the same thing as the archers for them. They're going to run into the walls, do some spears, and there. that's going to be that. And here comes the rest of the units. That's why I wanted to spread my troops out so that there was more of a front line of spears when these guys start charging in. We might not even need to use my cavalry for this, but it's good to have the general here so these troops fight better. Yeah, here comes Principes. They just kind of charged into the spears themselves as well. Always a sound strategy, if you ask me. Cavalry wants to do the same thing. This unit on the side, why don't you... Why don't you move your way out here? Yeah, go ahead and hit those Equites. They kind of got around my flank a little bit, so... We'll come and hit them. You guys, why don't you move forward? Oh... Yeah, move forward. Form up here. You guys turn in on them. Yeah, form up and then let's advance forward. Come on. Alright, they don't want to advance forward. That's fine, I'll do it myself. There we go. We're going to start hitting them with the spears from the back, and uh, that should be that. Look at this. is like Battle of the Bastards right here. They're going to be in Game of Thrones, surrounded by walls of spears and uh, 
with no giant to save them uh, and no, you know, cavalry from the Vale, I think they are the proverbial screw. Yeah. Yeah, they're screwed. Look at this one guy. These two war dog guys out here, they're trying. I gotta give them credit for that. There goes their captain. The enemy general was a fool. See, can we get this guy? There we go. He's down. Oh no, he, did. he just fell. We're gonna continue the battle. I want to kill them all. Boy. Oh wait, there's another unit. Ugh. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, guys. Where is this last unit? What is it? All right. Uh, I am very sorry about that. I had no idea that guy was there. Um, I'm gonna lose some guys from towers trying to take him down. Nah, let's just go do it. Super frustrating. I'm very sorry. Didn't notice him. Where the heck did he just go? Oh. Alright, see, I lost one cavalryman. Two, three. Three cavalry because I clicked the wrong button. Sorry about that. Thought everyone was in the city center at that point. There we go. Clear victory. What a battle. Jeez. Uh, a lot of experience gains, a lot of casualties sustained, but with that win, we have now officially taken all the major settlements of the Julii. Well, there are two starting settlements, Ariminum and Aretia. Um, adios population. Resistance is futile. And there we go. Oh... Okay, so that's going to help our uh, economic situation with another major settlement. Um, I also I took out the population because I don't want to have to position troops here long term. Uh, it's just I know it's a valuable city, but it's just not worth it to have to um, position large armies to deal with insane levels of unrest. Plus, we can up the tax right now. Um, yeah, we'll retrain these troops. Can we combine anything so that I, ha I can have a, uh, a slot open for recruitment? Let's see, any of these troops knock... No, I'll see, all these troops would... Okay, we're gonna have to retrain over the course of two turns here, because... Oh, actually, I don't even need to... I don't need to train in a new unit off the bat here. Uh, I got the, the two units of Cretans to round out this army. Uh, why don't we move the Spy? Checking the percentage there, making sure it doesn't uh, doesn't end up killing it. Let's move the Spy up here to the north, right by this bridge. Yeah, see, the Julii are pretty weak at this point. They're, they're not in the... Uh, they're not in the best of spots. So they're going to be pretty vulnerable to just be aggressively pushed back, get Batavia, Mediolanium, and, uh, what was the city called again? Suggesta. Yeah. Uh, should be pretty doable. Alright. Um. Cool! I mean, I mean, uh, that, that, was, that was successful. Yeah, the fight took forever. Uh, huge battle. Uh, we do have an issue a little bit with regard to these guys they are not you know I'm, I'm trying to get it I would love to get it so that Rome uh, can recruit them uh, we are one temple away so let's get that temple going that way I don't have to send them all the way down here to Syracuse to retrain we can just retrain right there in Rome uh, let's go ahead and let's also focus on some economics. First and foremost, Carthage, our capital. Uh, we could do a royal palace. Might not be a bad move, especially with how high the population is. It's expensive. It's going to take up like all of our money. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's see if there's anything else we can build that might have like an economic benefit as opposed to a military benefit. I mean, we could do roads. I mean, like farming. I mean, what would, you know, how much of an effect would like, farming have here? We'd make a bit more money. You know, we could do the roads as well. A bit more trade income. Yeah. I guess we can just get those get those roads going. That's that's fine. Um, what's our fight? We're going to look to... We'll probably make a profit next turn. That's good. Um, Alright. So, that takes care of most... Pretty much the whole Italian region here. Um, How is our settlements list looking? Uh, nothing super upset. We've got some that are kind of blue, but... 
Nothing too much. And then uh, Narva Martius. So here's our next stage. What I want to do is I would love to, you know, get a peace deal with the Britons, but only after I take Massilia. Once I take Massilia, I would love to just connect this area and not have to, like, worry about the Britons and pushing up through France or modern-day France if I don't have to. Uh, but, of course, that runs a huge risk. Um, Narva Martius also, it, with only 844 population... Uh, is not the happiest of settlements in the world, which is, it's kind of hilarious, uh, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get an army moving, uh, here to Massilia. So, Hannibal Mago, 26, we got a couple generals over here we can choose from. Hannibal Mago, Bobocar, the Atticles, let's get, uh, yeah, Hannibal some work. So why don't we start forming your force here? Onward! Let's start with the cavalry. It's all we all have the we have uh, only the weak cav over here. So let's take some six units of two experienced chevron improved uh, weaponry cavalry. Uh, infantry wise, not much in the realm of infantry. Yeah, we'll give you just some. Mighty Some bulk units then, Mighty I guess. General. Basically whatever I can. Leaving the army. March. That'll March. be five, yeah, five move, move, units sorry. of Mighty General. Uh, Iberians Mighty there. General. Okay, not Mighty General. ideal. We can have three General. units of skirmishers Mighty into the mix. Um, My liege. Mighty General. My liege. My liege. Why don't we hold on to the Numidians over here? We can move you guys into the city. Yeah. Sire. We'll combine these guys and disband one. Sire. See, this force, like, I want to leave mostly intact Orders. because if it, this is the force that would move north Sire. in the case of continued war and conflict March. with Britain. Mighty General. March. So let's kind of just March. position here for the time being. Okay. You know what? Orders. I'm gonna probably want to do a watchtower over out. here. Although, do I really need a general in Oska? Are they gonna get really mad at me if I move out? No, not really. Yeah, why don't you, general? You you can. You'll put a watchtower right over here next turn. Look at all these epic battles. This pass had so many fights. Um, what's our population here? Yeah, we'll, we'll leave this as a, as a little bit of a garrison. This is the first entry point into Spain, so that's all right. Cordoba, obviously, yeah, you got a ton of ton of peasants there, and yeah, okay, I think that kind of works with this side for the time being. Ships ready. Uh, take a quick look. I God, this whole video is gonna be like one turn, huh? Sire, mighty general. Yeah, you're gonna. Sit in Aretium for a turn. We got all these armies that have like a lot of movement points left. Mostly in Italy. Carthage has got a little bit. The Rome, we're gonna need to kind of leave a garrison in. It's not that large. Aretium, I mean, we could like go take this guy out really quick and then probably retreat. Retreat back to the city. Uh, what do we got here? We got Peltis and Hastati, so we can just kind of take a... Mighty General. We should be able to just take a cavalry force and go wipe them out. Prepare for battle. Oh, cool. They're going to fight. I thought maybe they'd retreat, but nope. For the sunsets, just make okay. sure that you are not one of them. Await my orders. My guess, yep, they're going to position all the way up the hill. Uh, we're gonna try to even this out with them. Let's take the the border here. Try to get up the hill as much as possible. And we'll let our units run. Don't really need to speed it up in editing because it's just cavalry, so it should only take a second. There we go. Yeah, they're only warmed up, so we're good. Um, I think the good strategy would be just to crash right into the front line. Yeah, let's go crash into the front line, route that first unit, then hit the Peltis, then it'll be a little bit of a slog with the second one. But 
Uh, yeah, should be good. There we go. Cultists are advancing. Let's advance ourselves. Before they can get any spears off. General, why don't you hold back? And boom. Let's see if we get their instant route. We did. Alright, go ahead and push to the back one. Yeah, they got one spear throw off. All right, yeah, we want to. We're just gonna take out the entire force. That's three Roman units that won't be there to fight us on another day, which is great. And yeah, we should be able to get these guys. Come on now. Cavalry's having a little trouble getting them, huh? They can't really let them escape. Well, they let one escape. All right, not the end of the world. You get any experience for that? Nope. But a nice little small victory. victory. And yeah, we got good. We got a trade increase. That's that's good. Plus uh, superior commander for Hasdrubal. Um, oh, look at look at the stack of command stars Hasdrubal has. Seventy five. I mean, look at that. Ooh, I might pass that on. Get you back to the city. And uh, where's like a younger thirty two year old general? Yeah, why don't you pop over here for a sec, and what we'll do is, we'll, he's 75, he's gonna die soon. Um, Pet Lion's a good one, personal security and command when fighting rebels, we can move over. Does he have any already? Oh, he's got a ton already, shield bearer, alright. Herald, does he have Herald? No, Herald for plus two influence. Why don't you take that? Nope, it's not letting me move it. Okay. Um, idiot Savant. <laughs> Breathe the ball. Shield bearer. You have shield bearer already? Yeah, you do. All right. So we gave him pet lion. That's good enough. Get back to your city. Get back to your city. Keep him happy. Yeah, especially on their current tax rates, it's going to make me a lot of money. That was a nice little pick-off of a Roman force, and now for the first time in this whole video, why don't we enter? Ah, whoa, 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 almost forgot. I don't, oh, I don't even have the money to do it, but... Nope, no more Cretans. Whoa, why does... The city's happy without a minute. What does he have that's useless assessor? Maybe it's the penalty on tax income... Minus one influence for minion. Yeah, okay, those yeah, those weren't the best, so maybe that's why, but let's go ahead. End turn! Took us long enough. Britain appeared with an army. Oh. Doesn't like my odds here, huh? Alright, we can retreat back, because we have so many troops in the area, we don't need to do a lopsided fight. Cretan archers, yes please. Onward. Ready to ambush. Okay. Diplomatic info. Thrace in Greece. And Thrace in Germania. Alright. Recruitment report. Yeah, we got some recruitment. Construction, roads, mines. New family member. Most advanced faction. Town grow. Oh, cool. Kaidonia. Crete grew. Yeah, why don't we invest in the upgrade of that? Kind of a cool little outpost to have over here. End of turn report. Yeah, we did make some cash. Uh, so again, this is sort of our point. We got a rebel force that popped up. Pretty weak. Warband, 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 and a general. Uh, yeah, we have this Britain army over here. Okay, Britons are such a pain. Jeez, such a pain. All right. Italy, uh, not much happened on the Julii front. They kind of retreated out of northern Italy a little bit. I kill. So we have a good 62% success rate. 36. 7. Why don't we just go for that 62? Yeah, we got him. Alright, and that, yeah, again, that is just for a uh, trait gain mission. Because we got another agent skill point and a trait increase. Uh, so you can see he now has four subterfuge points. We'll move him up there. And then here's our better assassin. Can you take out the general? 55% odds on a general. We'll take it, and we got him! Take out a Roman family member. 
All right. And yeah, he is uh, he's very good as well. So successful uh, assassination missions. Um, we got a little bit of a army on that navy. Ships ready. Yeah, why don't we we'll go ahead and finally yes, drop off our after army. What took seemingly forever to get here. We finally got our two full units of Cretans. Um, let's go try to corner that navy. Alright, they retreated down that direction. Kind of interesting. And, uh, yeah, what do we got here? Some small one-ship navies. Alright. Should be an easy fight. That should be a sink. There we go. The sea is yours, and this might not be a sink, but we'll definitely win it. Yeah, that wasn't a sink. They retreated out. Supreme. One ship there. Ready I only have sail. one ship there. Britain Navy way over Ships here. Ready. Ready well, combat. that should be a sink. The sea there we go. That should be a sink. Very successful. Yeah, good on the na good on the naval Great front Lord. there. Ships ready. Make ready we'll go hit combat. that Navy. Back the them out. Great Lord. Stay on them. You just gotta kind of keep hitting navies. Oh, there we go. Okay, keep hitting navies until you get them and they sink. There we go. Just gotta keep hitting them non-stop. Uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit of a uh, same thing up here. Whoa, they allied together. They can fight me together just because I'm a common enemy. Super annoying, but we got the sink on the Britons and the Julia retreated back. I great lord. I, great lord. This force, big, nice, powerful navy. Too powerful to use as just a guardian force. Let's go get Set you that sail. way. You're going to go hunt the navies over here. Yeah, Britain, sail. see, this is what I want to prevent. Britain's have a ton of sail. these navies sitting around in here. We'll blockade that Ready for you guys. Go Set join sail. the blockading force. All right. And we're at about an hour, ten minutes into this video. Probably about an hour and five after I edit it. And I'm going to go ahead and stop there the battle took up the bulk of the video, I know that, but I think it was very successful regardless. We got a major uh, Roman city. Uh, we have a lot of, we're going to have a lot of good fighting over here next episode, uh, pushing back the really frustrating and annoying Britons. And um, yeah, it's been a fun one. Hopefully uh, we can start expanding into Greece soon. Why don't we keep, oh, we also got a rebel force here. Yeah, so next video we'll have a lot of fights. Uh, as you guys um, hope maybe you saw... Maybe not, uh, but as I mentioned on my uh, community page, we have the next um, episode of this series coming out on February 14th. So that's uh, going to be five days from this video's release. I hope you all look forward to that. Thank you for sticking with me through the break again, and I really appreciate you uh, being here watching the video. As always, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I asked, you know, if, and, and you like my content, please do. It's uh, It really helps me grow and expand and get in front of more faces. And leave a like as well if you made it through this video and then enjoyed it. So thank you very much. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode. Have a good one.